Okay guys, it's time to upgrade the bow and in this tutorial you're going to need to know a few things first. How to turn on the power and how to get the bow and how to build the boat. All of those can be found below in the description in my Rave in the Redwoods playlist. So go check those out first and come back and try this. So the first step to getting the bow upgraded is to find four statues. Now these can be located in a lot of different places, but I'm gonna show you a bunch of locations I found them out. Let's start out over at the cabins. And as you're going to the cabins from the mess hall, right here on this bench, right on the floor, underneath it, you can find one of the statues. Now if we carry on over to Camp Wolf, and we're gonna go through Camp Wolf, and at the end of Camp Wolf, Camp Wolf where Camp Owl starts, right here on this picnic table, is another possibility where you can find one of the statues. Now we're going into Camp Owl and this right here where the Volk wall by is right through this cabin and on the rail here, you can find yourself another statue. So that's three locations in the cabin area. Let's go to the next section. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the boathouse or the lake, either way you choose to go. It's gonna lead you basically to the same area. So as we enter towards the boathouse here, uh, right here on this deck, on this table, you can possibly find one of the statues. And if we just go around the corner here, we're gonna be looking for a set of kayaks and underneath the kayaks, I have also found a statue. Now keep in mind, I don't think I know all of the locations, but I'm giving you a great idea of where you can find some of them in case you're stuck and you're like, I just can't find one of them. Maybe it's in one of these locations I'm showing you right now. So another possible location is right by this giant bonfire. You're gonna go past it and go into the swamp area right next to the Perca-Cola bomb stoppers. You're gonna see at the top of these stairs right here, and here's one of the actual statues. So this is obviously a location where they can spawn. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so go over to the recreation area and you're gonna see a trailer uh, above the pit. And inside the trailer here, you're gonna find another location for the statue. Now, if you don't find it here, uh, go actually down in the pit here, and there's gonna be a barricade you can open, and sometimes you can find one of the statues in here. So I actually do find it right here, and there it is right by the mattresses, just beyond that wall by. And for this final location, we're gonna go inside of the mine, and inside of here, uh, next to Bang Bangs, on a flight of stairs, I have found a statue piece here several times and here it is and that's going to be all four and also this is all of the locations i am aware of i have searched high and low i'm not saying that this is all of the locations but these are the ones i see it spawn in so if you know of another location leave it down below in the comment section you might be helping somebody not lose their mind Okay, so now that you have all four statues, you need to head back down to the recreation area and you're gonna see four speakers in front of the stage. Place the statues on top of the speakers and then simply kill a bunch of zombies around the statues. Uh, there is a noise when it's complete, however, it's kind of quiet, so just continuously check the statues and eventually it'll let you pick them back up. And that's when you know you're done and it's time for the next step. By the way, those statues are actually small carvings of animals and located around the map are giant carvings of the same animals. So you can take the owl statue over to the owl carving on the map and there are several locations for each of these animals and they're very big and obvious. You simply place the statue at the giant carving and then kill zombies around it just like you did with the speakers and over time it'll finish and it'll let you pick it back up and once you pick it back up you now have yourself a brand new pack-a-punch crossbow and each animal represents a different pack-a-punched crossbow so this is my favorite this one's some sort of hailstorm fire death from above crossbow and i freaking love it so uh, this is the one i'm showing you how to do so hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you found it informative drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new and i'll see you in the next video